This video demonstrates the upgradation to the latest version of NetBeans, JDK, and Tomcat. Besides, the migration process from Java EE to Jakarta EE is demonstrated in Servlet's context. From Servlet's perspective, the namespace javax.servlet.star is changed to jakarta.servlet.star. To uninstall NetBeans 12.3, open the Windows Settings. Apps. Select Apache NetBeans 12.3. And click on Uninstall. There is a critical error. It seems that there is a lock file which prevents the uninstallation. Let us delete this file. Open C Drive. Users Folder. App Data Roaming NetBeans 12.3 Delete the lock file Click on Uninstall Uninstallation completed successfully. Click on Finish. Visit Apache NetBeans website. And download 12.4 version. You may notice the Java 16 support in this page. Run the installer file and follow the installation process. Click on Next. Accept the agreement. JDK 16 is already installed. Open NetBeans. Settings created by a previous version were found on your system. Do you want to import them? Click Yes. NetBeans Java Compiler API will be installed. Click on Next. Click on Finish. Let us now run the Hello Web App Servlet in this new environment. Expand the Hello Web App project. Open Hello Servlet 2.java. Right click and click on Run. Internal server error. This is because of Tomcat 9. Let us verify the JDK version and update this project to use Tomcat 10. Click on Tools. Java Platform. It is JDK 16. Right click on Hello Web App. Click on Properties. Click on Run. The current server is Tomcat 9. Change the server to Tomcat 10. Click on OK. Now, we are having errors in the code. Package Java X. .http does not exist. This is due to Java X namespace. Tomcat 10 require Jakarta namespace. Update Java X to Jakarta. Now the errors are gone. Let us update the other two files. Let us run Hello Servlet 2.
Here is the output. We have run the Jakarta's Hello Servlet using NetBeans 12.4, with JDK 16, and Tomcat 10. To summarize, we have learned how to upgrade to newest NetBeans versions, switching between servers while executing projects, and writing Jakarta EE compliant servlets. Java EE has been around for a long time. Java EE will continue to evolve for cloud native infrastructure, under Eclipse Foundation with a new name. Jakarta EE. Jakarta Enterprise Edition is the open source future of cloud native Java. The cloud native features of Jakarta EE will be explored in the subsequent videos.